how's it going? Welcome to the next update. We've got some Squirtle story today. We also had a Whipple special tooth ordeal that comma will afraid Pikachu. Toaster oven, mustard REI, congressional balsa spleen, pipe that shelf, Al Gore, Expelliarmus, motherboard, uh, foam beauty blogger, geofilter. Did you, did you hear me? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Hello, I hope you enjoyed that break from my usual style. That was actually a sketch that I made back during YouTube Next Up with Ricky Pointer as part of a half-day production challenge we were given. Many of you may know Ricky as sort of the main captions crusader on YouTube. She is working tirelessly to get every video creator to be captioning their videos. Today, September 25th, is her campaign called No More Craptions. Because what you just heard in that sketch, all that simlish kind of nonsense that I was saying, that's pretty much what auto captions are like. When you have a video on YouTube that has not been manually captioned by a human, YouTube has this cool-ish tool that will provide auto captions. But they're usually pretty inaccurate and just ridiculous sometimes. So Ricky and I wanted to show how confusing and pointless craptions are to people who really need captions on videos. In Imagine living in a world where that's how people talked and you couldn't understand anything they were saying. That's kind of what it's like when you need captions and all a video has is auto captions. No More Captions is happening this month because it's also Deaf Awareness Month. So it's a good time to remind people that there are 642 million deaf and hard of hearing people around the world who can't enjoy the videos we're making without captions. I mean, not that all 642 million of them are watching YouTube. Can you imagine living in a world where every single person had an internet connected device? That's a topic for another video. Plus, captions also help out people who speak a language other than the one the video was made in, people with audio processing disorders, videos that just have bad or very quick audio. Not to mention sites like Tumblr and Facebook with silent autoplay videos, but you can still kind of get what's going on by seeing the captions that come up, and then you can like watch videos at work without your boss knowing. I assume I don't work in an office, but I hear that from my friends. Having captions on your videos boosts views and subscribers. So there's all sorts of reasons why captions are great even for hearing people. But personally, I think we should just have captions because I want all content online to be as accessible for as many people as possible. And I am not always the best at this, but I'm trying to get better. And I've been learning a ton from Ricky and a bunch of others online. And I highly recommend Ricky's videos for information on how to caption, how to caption better, and more about why it's so important. I'll put links to some of her videos down in the description box. You should all go subscribe to her. I try really hard now to have English captions on all my videos before they go live, but I can always use help captioning in other languages, and I would especially love help captioning all of my older videos. So if you ever want to help out with that, I'll put a link in the description box on how you can do that. You can help caption any video on YouTube, not just ones that you upload yourself. And it's pretty easy to do, and it is a huge help to make YouTube a place that we can all enjoy together. So thank you so much to Ricky for leading this front. Everyone, go forth and caption! Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.